What's up guys, Reed here, and um, this is actually my fourth, fourth time recording this. Um, I don't really like the, the way the other one sounded, but this is the first week back on program. I am currently on my second week, but this right here is my four second negative tempo squats, one and one half squats, excuse me. As you can see, these were absolutely brutal. This, these, this was my second to last set, I believe. And um, it is never done these. Uh, the first week is always the hardest because you're just coming off prep or competition, excuse me. Uh, you know, you're usually not doing anything over five reps, maybe, give or take, maybe six, something like that. Uh, just depends what your coach is programming you. But all the volume, as soon as you get back, is just absolutely, just absolutely trashes me for some reason. Um, and then we moved on to Tuesday. This is wide grip bench. Really not a fan of wide grip bench. I feel, I just feel very awkward in it. But this is 275. This is my first set of wide grip bench. And this right here was my last set. <clears throat> I think this was 320, I believe. Um, I'm glad we're doing block pulls and wide grip on this first block. Um, wide grip, I'm just, I'm just not very good at it. Um, my lats always come loose at the bottom. I got a little better at this week, but I'm just very bad at it. Uh, then we move into normal grip bench, which is a little more familiar to me. I had six by four on this. This was my second last set. Uh, I didn't record my last set. Um, so, yeah. And during my off season, after I took a month off of barbell work, I think, I'm pretty sure. It was about three to four weeks. Uh, we were doing chest and back. So I'm just going to keep that rolling. Um, this right here, I'm going to – I. I I have been continuing to do chest and back, uh, chest supported rows right here. These just feel amazing personally to me, uh, especially when you slow them down, which I did on my second and third set. This was my first set here, uh, slow it down and it feels amazing. Uh, full range of motion, full range of motion face pulls. Um, this is my second to last set. I did four sets of these. This is my third. Uh, I couldn't find the grip. As you can see, like my wrists are kind of like turning outward. Um, but when you find your when you find your grip on those, it's absolutely killer for your upper back and your rear delts. It's a, it's absolutely insane. Uh, and then on Thursday, <clears throat> excuse me, we finished off with deficit deadlifts with a tempo. Uh, he wants me to do four. My coach wants me to do four seconds, four to four. So four seconds off floor, two at the top, four down. But that is, I I have tried it and it is absolutely brutal. Like. If I if I was gonna do four two four tempos on a deficit, and I have six sets of it, it, it absolutely trashes me. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I just try to keep it to a tempo pace. I guess <laughs> I just try to control it and keep it very controlled and pretty much just pause at the top. Um, so yeah, these are absolutely absolutely brutal. As you can see, like my face and hands are not very happy. Uh, and then we finish off with block pulls. So I'm happy we're doing block pulls, like I said. One of my weaknesses. Uh, I'm getting a little better at them, especially with the, the slack out of the bottom. Um, I usually can never do that. So it's good progress. Um, I'm terrible at block pulls. Pretty good at rack pulls. But anyways, <clears throat> glad we're doing those. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover or voice, voice memo whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, what you write, what you write? There you go.